So how do you inspect your goods before shipment from Asia? Have you ever used a third-party company to conduct a pre-shipment inspection? Would you like to know the benefits you get from such an inspection? Hi, my name is Lillian and welcome to our new video third-party quality inspection in Asia, how it works and what are the benefits for you. I really want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you will find in it some valuable tips for your business. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm the founder and CEO of Amazing Quality Control Limited, problem solver and expert of quality inspections and um, supplier management services in China and Asia. So what are you going to learn today? Um, today you're going to learn how to use a third-party inspection. Um, so let's say uh, you're a US or uh, European company and you have placed an order to your China factory. Goods are scheduled to be finished in two weeks now. Um, you do not have an office in China, so you're far away. And uh, if you want to make sure no bad surprise will pop up uh, once the goods are in your country, well, the best solution and the one you must choose uh, if you do not have your own team locally is to book a quality inspection with a professional third-party inspection company. Um, so the first thing is the choice of the inspection company. So in Asia, um, you have quite a lot of quality inspections providers, both, I would say, local and what I call Western managed. Um, now the report that is delivered to you is pretty much the same in its format and what is inspected. Uh, but very important, you should choose a QC company that is Western managed. Very, very important. Um, the why here is because you want to make sure that the inspection provider understands clearly your quality expectations. And for that, you must rely on somebody that has already experienced the quality in your country. <clears throat> Let's say you hire a Chinese inspections company in China. Well, 99% of the time, the top management of that company will understand the quality requirements in China, but not in the US. That makes sense? Okay. So the second thing is make sure you pass very clear quality requirements to your inspection company. You know the history of the product, of the order, of the relationship with your supplier. The inspection company does not. That's very important to understand, you know. You think that, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna understand everything and they know everything, but it's not. You are the only one that knows everything about your product, your order, your supply. So never assume that the inspection company knows everything. They don't. So what you should have before the inspection is a clear product specifications sheet. Um, an approved sample or at least very clear pictures of the product details. And very important, a list of the most important checkpoints. That's key here. You want inspection company when they go to the factory to focus on one, three, five important checkpoints. Not 10, 20, 30. It's impossible. You want them to, to focus on those one to five important checkpoints. I mean, you can have six, eight, right? But not too many. Um, so those are your most important checkpoints, the ones you know if they are compliant, then you won't have any trouble when goods get to your country. So the two things above is what you should do on your side. Once you have done that, here are the interesting benefits you will get from the, from the inspection. Sorry. So the first, 
the inspection company is going to help you double check the final de delivery date. We know that in China and Asia, um, delayed delivery is very common. Unfortunately, it's very common. So your supplier might want to satisfy you by saying yes every time you are asking if he is on time for the agreed shipment date. Well, once you require a quality inspection, the inspection company is going to call um, your factory and ask them when they can schedule the control. At that time, factory does not have a choice but tell the truth, uh, the real uh, inspection date. If that date is consistent uh, with your required shipment date, perfect. But if not, at least you'll know in advance and can take measures to solve the problem. Um, so second, uh, a quality inspection is going to allow you to know everything about your goods quality status. So just to explain to viewers that never used a quality inspection before, um, hear how it is performed. Most of the time, one, inspe one inspector is sent by third party to factory. Uh, that inspector will make a random inspection. That means he won't check each and every pieces because of time limitation. Um, other normal in, uh, inspection is completed in one working day. So the inspection company is using an international quality control method called AQL. That stands for um, Acceptable Quality Limit or Acceptable Quality Level. That method uh, defines both the quantity that should be randomly checked depending on your um, order quantity and the maximum defects acceptable. If during the inspection, inspector finds defects in quality lower than the AQL maximum standard, your goods are compliant. And if during the inspection, um, the defect quantity found is higher than the AQL max limit, then your goods will be considered as non-compliant and then you might need to talk with your supplier. So once again here, I emphasize the importance of your instructions pre-inspection to third-party inspection about your most important checkpoints. You want to make sure that at least those things are compliant. Um, so to give you some examples of the quantity that could be randomly checked by the inspector, it's like this. So if your order is less than 500 pieces, then usually the inspector is going to check 50 pieces randomly. If your order is a, a thousand pieces, then usually 80 pieces are going to be checked randomly. And if your order is between 3,200 pieces and 10,000 pieces, then 200 pieces will be checked. So really, that is depending on the exact order quantity. Then when the inspector gets to the factory to make sure this is a real random inspection, he will select the goods to be checked from several cartons. So let's assume you have a thousand pieces order and products are packed um, by 50 pieces per carton. As mentioned before, the inspector has to select 80 pieces from inspe for inspection. Sorry, He won't just select two cartons and check each pieces in those two cartons. To make sure the inspection is very random, he'll select, for example, four cartons and will check 20 pieces per carton. Um, then the inspector can start the inspection. Um, so this inspection is going to consist uh, to check six main areas of your order. The first one is the production status. Inspector will check and count how many cartons are packed and finished. 
that is an important information for you because it will allow you to know either if the factory is on time for shipment or if they are very late on schedule. Um, so the second area, which is one of the two most important uh, of the inspection, is the visual defects. This is one of the most important parts of the inspection. And the inspection, the inspector, sorry, will look for obvious cosmetic defects that might render the product unsellable or that might require rework before sale in your country. In China and Asia, uh, this is very, very common, especially basic ones. Often factory will consider that a dirty product, as long as it can be cleaned up in your country, is acceptable. So a lot of things that can be repaired, reworked, cleaned up, whatever, a lot of Asian uh, suppliers will consider they don't need to take care of it before shipping the goods to you. Uh, and I mean, if you have a hundred K pieces order, obviously you don't want to have that extra cost when you get the goods in your country. It would be a, a huge extra cost for you. Uh, the third thing we're going to check is the packing and packaging. Inspector will check the size of the export cartons, the shipping marks, the packing method, is it compliant with your original requirements, the quality of the individual box packaging, etc. The fourth checkpoint is visual conformity of the product. So uh, don't uh, get it mixed up with what we said, the visual defects. Um, here, the inspector will check whether, your, for example, your product color is compliant with your requirements, the branding position is compliant, the shape of the product is right, etc. etc. Um, the fifth checkpoint, very, very important, is functional testing. That is the second biggest part of the inspection. Inspector will perform tests to make sure your product is working. <laughs> because a beautiful product that does not work will be useless for you in the end. And the sixth and final point is product size measurement. So we're going to look at, at the lens, the width, the thickness, all this kind of stuff. So after the inspection, once you get the report, uh, you really get a thorough overview of all the production quality status. And what is the most important? You know if your most important checkpoints are okay or not. Once again, I repeat myself a lot in this video about that, but that is the key here, really the key. And you want to make uh, it as simple as possible you can really focus on those most important checkpoints to check whether your goods are compliant or not. Nothing is perfect. Uh, but with a good inspection, you can get, um, you can make sure, sorry, um, whether your goods' most important criteria are compliant or not. And then, according to the results, take a decision on whether you can ship the goods or if a rework is necessary before shipment. Um, so I said a lot of things today, uh, and here is a basic recap of what you should do basically, and you should uh, take from this video. So the first thing is you need to make a quality uh, inspection before shipment. If you don't have your own team, find a professional third-party inspection company. When making your choice, select one that is Western managed, that has the experience of your country quality requirements. Think and make a list of the few most important things to check. I repeat, think 
and make a list of the few most important things to check. The thing that if they are okay, um, then you are sure you won't have any problems in your country. I advise that the list does not exceed five points. The very, very max would be eight, but don't go over that. Once inspection company has made the inspection, focusing on your five most important checkpoints list, read the report, look at the results, and make your shipment or rework decision. So I encourage you uh, to start today or as soon as possible in the coming days to look at your product and make a list of the five most important aspects of your product. Uh, the ones that if they have a problem will lead to sales problems in your country. Once determined, uh, this will be a very valuable document and data for your business. Um, so I hope today's video um, is useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free uh, to connect uh, via LinkedIn or to send me an email. I will reply for sure to your questions. Um, our time's up today. Uh, thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.